Hello guys today's video is about my coding routine the routine that i follow during my placements i would take you along what my day looked like and how i prepared for my job interviews watch this video till the very end and don't forget to hit the like button it is important to have an early start to the day so that you are able to get most things done in the first half of the day and usually in the morning we are the most energized and least distracted so it is a good way to get your work done after freshening up and drinking enough water it is time to get started with the work i first like to clean everything on my desk so that there's clarity and then we make a to-do list listing down all the important things that you need to get done it might be that your college has already started and you will have to manage your placements and college side by side so it is important to also manage your college work such as assignments internal tests and you also have to uh, continue your coding journey as i have already mentioned in my previous videos that i followed love pepper's 450 dsa sheet wherein there were 450 questions and my aim was to finish all of those and i used to keep a track of it in an excel sheet so the first thing i did was open that sheet and i used to check what all things i have to do for that particular day usually my i used to solve somewhere around 5 to 7 problems 7 only if there are easy problems and 5 when i had to do medium to hard level problems but the important point here is that this is not a race you don't have to compare yourself Uh, as in how many sums you are getting done it is important to understand each and everything and then move forward it is fine if you are initially solving only three problems but it is important to uh, understand them 100% the concepts and the tricks that are being used to solve it so start steady and slow and eventually build up your um performance it would be very helpful and um you won't get demotivated in that way the day before i was shooting this video was 12 july and 12 july 2020 was the day when i started my youtube journey so i like to celebrate this day and i was celebrating my 3 year anniversary on youtube and while i was doing that we got a notification that um our final semester's results were out and honestly uh, the first reaction that i had was uh being terrified because results make me nervous and there's some sense of uh, fear guys my final year results are out i'm scared scared beyond words uh, my heart is very beating very fast it is loading because i've typed in my name it took me ages to firstly uh, figure out how to uh find my result because this was a 1700 page pdf so it wasn't loading on my phone i had to switch to my laptop to view it and later on i called my friends and we were discussing about the result and honestly i was um very 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 happy with my result because only you know how much hard work and efforts you have put into something and it is quite satisfying when you get the results that you want So yes with this my semesters have ended my college life my engineering has finally come to an end on a good note so i'm very grateful to god and also my efforts and everything else now back to the routine video and now it is time for session number 2 you can start this whenever you feel like but prefer to start it before lunch so that you are not lazy after eating a heavy lunch so yeah i start at 11 and i eat lunch by 2 pm so i have a 3 hour session in between that and 
in my second session this is the most intense one because here i try to solve our dsa problems that are difficult because here i have the time and the patience to learn new concepts and to invest one to one and a half hours for one sum so you can understand how much uh, effort it takes to understand new topics and topics which were very dreadful for me were backtracking uh dynamic programming and also graphs graphs were uh, eventually it got easy but initially it was very terrifying for me and while you are uh, learning new concepts make sure you are making notes of it because uh, trust me you feel like yes you know this you know that but when it comes to a uh, revising you might forget it and you might not have the record if you have done this uh, sum or not so it is always important to make a note of new things or make note of all the sums that you are doing and the concepts that are being used because this is what worked for me being very honest about things that work for me and this is number one thing that is making notes and being consistent with it every single day this journey will be very stressful and it will take a toll on your mental health and you have to be prepared for it because you will be getting rejected you will be feeling demotivated and uninspired and it is very common but you need to pull yourself together each and every time because no one else will and you will have to prove things for yourself during my night session i used to do uh, things that require a little less effort such as solving mcqs uh, going through the core subjects making notes about dbms so guys towards the end when i am uh, almost tired and i cannot code i try to solve mcqs uh, today i was solving some mcqs on the topic c++ as you can see and i am using the site interview bit for this and you can see that we can learn a lot and things that are not getting right i can just write it down in my notes so practice some interview questions interview bit is a very nice website for having everything at one place and the topic i was studying was on c++ also i will be sharing more of placement journeys and tips on my youtube channel so stay tuned for it and let me know in the comments if you require my notes because a lot of people have been asking for it but i don't know if they will be useful or not because they are not professional they are not 100% accurate also so there is a fear in me that people will criticize eventually when they go through my notes but yeah if you need it for reference do let me know in the comments below and thank you for watching my video till this and share it with your friends who are in the similar situation and keep each other motivated because you want to get things done for yourself